point and double point hammock. What's the difference? Why would I choose one over the other? And maybe most importantly, which one do I need for Unata Aerial Yoga? Well, single point and double point refers to how the hammock is hung to the ceiling. And I'll tell you right now that it doesn't matter which one you have to be able to practice Unata Aerial Yoga. Our Unata method is not so specific to one particular setup. So that's the good news. Now, why would you choose one over the other? There's a few reasons for that. And I've cut a piece of cord to sort of represent the fabric of the hammock. And I'm going to come close to the camera so I can show you what the two differences are a little easier. So here I am. This is what your hammock kind of looks like, right? You have the two ends of the fabric somehow connected to the hammock, to the ceiling, so that you have something to sit on, stand on, be held by, whatever. A double point hammock looks just like this, where the two end points are hanging, the two ends of the hammock are hanging at two different points or locations on the ceiling. It's got the shape of essentially like the letter U. A single point is when you bring the two ends and connect them to the same point or the same location on the ceiling, and especially when you have a body in it, it's a little wider at the bottom than at the top, and that gives the shape a little bit more of like a teardrop. That's the difference. Why would you want to choose one over the other? Sometimes it has to do with your particular situation, your ceiling or whatever you're connecting to. Sometimes you really don't have a choice. Uh, it makes maybe the situation is just that you could really only choose one or the other. And in that case, that's why it's good news that for Unata Aero Yoga, you could really use either. In other cases, it's personal preference. A two-point hammock has a tendency to want to swing forward and back easily. It doesn't as easily swing side to side, yeah, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. And also, it doesn't hug around the body quite as strongly, so that could be a good thing or a bad thing too, depending on your sensitivities and also which type of positions you like to do. The single point, once again, will hug you a little bit more firmly. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. And it can also swing forward and back, but it also swings side to side just as easily. The downside though with the single point is that it will have a tendency maybe to twist or spin a little bit easier as well, whereas a two point is a little more resistant to that, that sort of spin or twisting. Because of all that, it can be personal preference it may take experimenting a little bit with uh, finding a location where you could do either or both and then seeing which you like. In terms of for you not to aerial yoga and our method, many times the differences are very subtle. And even if they're very big differences, there's ways to adapt, of course, around anything that is unfavorable. 